So Microsoft is about to announce their earnings, and by the time I get this video out, they'll have done that already. But we do have the press release and webcast uh, just highlights. So basically, this is the script. It's not going to include the analyst questions at the end. But I want to go ahead and go through this because we do have a revenue and diluted earnings per share beat on both of these. But it sounds like it wasn't enough of a beat compared to what they've previously done. So let's go back here and see what the expectations were. You can see earnings per share 2.32. And if we go here, 2.48. So that difference and then uh, 51.7 billion for revenue. And we've got 50.8. So not really about a million over and then just pennies on the on the EPS but regardless this was a beat beat it should have been a surprise percentage over here and feel free to calculate that if you want to by going into Google and looking at this but the consistency of them beating earnings continues even through this quarter but what does this say about market conditions tomorrow is this definitely a downtrend and can we recover with the Fed speaking tomorrow so do we need that stability and what does this say about market conditions right now especially for tomorrow morning a lot of people were assuming that this could have an impact on the general market conditions if they were a miss now they're not a miss but they didn't miss by enough what does that say the share price is speaking for itself so last six months here we've got these points where we've tested 34, 33, and we are at that point right now where the market's got to decide, is it going up or down? And some people may be deciding that this may be trending down. We'll have to see if we test that 33,230 mark with this tech sell-off, but tech, is it appropriately priced? You can see tech, communications, uh, customer cyclical. These are starting, some of these sectors are starting to move the financials with the interest and interest rate hikes with the Fed, expecting four of those this year, healthcare sector and energy. So where is this mo money moving? You can see that it is starting to, to make a shift this year. Now tomorrow at 2.30, do we get that certainty? A lot of people are saying this is a coin flip. They could overdo it and possibly put this economy into a recession. Hopefully we don't see that worst case scenario because the Fed does have some of these triggers that they can pull. So last quarter, this is what we've seen. We've seen that cloud was going to be a strength, but not strength enough. Now, Microsoft on the long term is a blue chip company that you want to keep on your watch list. If this thing finds support, when it was down in the 280 range, it looked like it was getting some good support. So I don't know how far this is going down, but they are making massive moves. This was a huge acquisition, whopping $68.7 billion when they acquired Activision Blizzard. Now, they have to go through the entire process, and it could be complete either by the summer or the summer of next year, but making massive moves. And then just over a year ago, they had another blockbuster deal, that which made them the third largest gaming company in the world by revenue. So, I mean, they're shaking it up. And if you look at these slides, just to show you how large Microsoft plus Activision Blizzard is, nearly 400, 400 million Activision Blizzard monthly active users. And what do they have for Microsoft on Game Pass subscribers? 25 million. So you could just see that is a massive number. And this deal really reminds me of the size of the deal that they tried to do PayPal with Pinterest, and then that fell through, sending those share prices down. Pinterest is also one that I want you to keep on your watch list. Now, you could see this price is down around, I think after hours, it's showing at about 270, 274. So the the average price target, strong buy ratings, 26 uh, have, a have this as a strong buy on tip ranks, and then one as a hold. You can see there is upside if you have this as a blue chip in your portfolio for the long term. And their financials are great. These are the kind of companies that in normal people would tell you to invest in. They've got positive cash flow. They are profitable. They have a strong balance sheet with cash and their income 
is increasing quarter over quarter and they're just getting stronger. Now with all of these developers that they've acquired, I mean, it just makes them a really, really good play for Metaverse too. I mean, you're going to need to poach that talent and that's what they've done. So this price to sales, I just see it going down even further. And now it just makes you consider what is a good price to sales, price to book ratio where people are going to start coming back into this play. So 273 after hours, volume is not that high. People were taking advantage of this. I believe at 276, I see people still adding this. They're going to try and time this to find out where is the bottom. But for general market conditions, I would say there was a lot of people expecting this to go up. And I would say an equal amount of people expecting this to go down as far as puts and calls. Be very careful in these in these uh, market conditions with looking at options that expire within the same week. It doesn't give you an opportunity to cost average down and it is getting very difficult to predict unless you're predicting things are going to go down in this market. So hopefully we get that stability next week and you know you can use Finviz just to see what is the price to sales price to book ratio compared with these other you know tickers that are in that same sector so technology and software now Microsoft is one of those stocks that some people refer to as bulletproof and I would say that this is one that is gonna be around and they are just building a stronger foothold and these opportunities to get it at or below 275, 273. As you can see on the chart here, it hasn't been at this price since the summer of last year. Now, where is this price gonna stop? Of course, there. I, I expect tomorrow, there's the potential that this could dip and you can see some buying, but I believe that this is something that people are going to consider adding to their portfolio. This is busted through the trend line, as you can see here, but who knows where the bottom's at? If you're looking for a good company, I would say this is definitely one that you want to have on your watch list and you want to consider. It's really difficult to time the bottom of the market or the bottom of a particular stock, but some people are saying you want to look at pre-pandemic stock levels. I think that might be taking it back too far for this stock if you were to go that far back, but you never know. That's all I got for you. I hope this video helped you out. If it, if it did, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give the video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.